on one hand, much of what Tim Pool said about making a person more famous, effectively, Streisand effect, without saying Streisand effect. Everybody's already said Streisand effect, though. That was true. On the other hand, he just didn't even say anything about the abuse of Twitter censorship, which was specifically, other than saying that this is what these, these PR firms do, is they do a thing with mass flagging. But he did not say anything about the fact that Twitter was not undoing the mass flagging. Or that people inside Twitter were working with a person specifically at the center of the controversy, even though it's Streisanding affecting her. So the real problem is people with the power who talk about, and by power I mean connections, I mean a voice, an audience, refusing to address the thing that they have been on about nonstop, dismissing it as drama when Similar drama has been the only topic of conversation for entire podcasts of the same show. Okay. So I unsubscribed. I unsubscribed before that because I already knew what the article was going to be about. I'm not really watching anybody talk about it right now. Brittany Venti is putting up clips of the stream that I've already watched, so I'm not watching the clips. Other people can watch them. They can gobble that shit up. Everybody gets their clout and their whatever, and it's fine. The problem is still exactly what it was before. Maybe we find out, part two, that she wasn't a minor. If she wasn't a minor, there was no legal technicality of trafficking. As an adult, yes, you can be groomed into doing things, but if your goal is to get famous and all you care about is getting famous and you'll do whatever it takes to get famous, that's called consent. So that is itself, that's the kernel at the center of the controversy is a question over things like that. But what it has led to is that a person with questions over things like that in their history, being personally associated with people that are the head of the censorship board at Twitter, who are removing people for questioning this person's credibility via questions like I just asked about possible age differences. Well, I didn't ask, but you know what I'm saying. That's the questions. That's what I'm talking about. And if it turns out in a verifiably, factually true way that the uh, circumstances were that she was a minor, okay, she should have named names. It's difficult for a public figure to successfully sue for defamation, which means she could name names and probably not be sued. Legal reasons, that's my guess. Likewise, if she is able to demonstrate some type of serious like disproportionate financial damage to herself, she could sue some of the people talking about her being a fake if it turns out that she's real in that. But the thing is, is that this is not the same thing as some girl that's like, well, 
you know, let's go. And, and it's not good for anyone regardless of their intentions, but they, you know, the way it works is they go, they, they see an ad for a thing and it, it starts off as uh, something innocuous. Now there's two ways this goes. One way is that they just get straight up kidnapped when they go to meet whoever they called on the phone. The other thing is, is that they go to meet with the person and it's like a photo shoot in a bikini or something and they work their way into getting these girls into doing porn or turning tricks or something. And it's, it's the same thing with pimping. Girls don't, you know, look for a pimp and say, hey, I, that's what I want to do. They kind of get roped into it, traded like chattel. That is trafficking, a type of trafficking. There are many types. The problem is, is that if somebody is faking or lying about their story, yeah, they're drawing attention to it and they're helping others possibly. But they're also, when they get exposed, inevitably they get exposed, they are making it that much more difficult for legitimate survivors and victims to come forward, to get anything done about it, to report it. And then there's a whole slew of other issues in the bureaucracy and the, the statistics and budget of all of the levels of government involved in... in attempting to prosecute and stop things like trafficking. And I think the real harm done is that it needs to be something where the, the I don't know, man, like guys should see that you can't get away with it. So then they don't think about it as an option like, ah, you know, I'll just, you're going to get caught, so don't do it kind of thing. But every, every predator that doesn't get caught has the potential of taking another prey at some point. So by stopping them, that makes it so that they can't hurt anyone else. And if the people that they hurt are afraid to come forward because they're afraid of being labeled a fake because of wackadoo bullshit from people like Eliza Blue, apparently. Juicy Smollier. All that kind of shit. And the reason people keep bringing it back to Jack Murphy is that when it turned out that he was a hypocrite, he attempted to deplatform people. He tried to get people fired from their jobs in real life. That's why Elijah and Sydney don't have you are here, which was a really good show. And so you can you can see it doesn't help anything that there are people that it, it really is. Uh, I think Brittany was the one that was saying that it was stolen valor for for surviving that type of abuse, that's stolen valor. And I agree. And stolen valor has been ruled to be free speech. They have, a, they have a right to say it. If a person wants to put on some surplus jacket and try and get a military discount and not get caught on Veterans Day or some crap, nobody really argues. When they dress up all fancy and try and get the accolades and make up a bullshit story about where they served or whatever, that's a little different story but it's still considered free speech. But I mean, you know, somebody might decide they can afford to pay the assault ticket. It endangers people when you falsely claim things too, if you do name names, because then somebody could be a victim. That's why you're not supposed to name names and do process, even if it's apparently a real thing. And... You know, I have, I have to tread lightly because of circumstances in my own life on how I word this. But it's a situation where that's at the core of what's going on with Eliza Blue. But it's not just that. It's the fact that she has got people at Trust and Safety and Twitter that are blocking people out for asking questions about this. That it seems to be that maybe there's a lot of stuff that don't jive. Maybe she's kind of stretched the definition a little bit to try and, you know, get in even though she really didn't belong in that category.
and the people that have been affected by it. Now, to be fair also, I can't help but notice that Brittany Venti has got an increase in subscribers since all of this. Tim's channels have lost about 10,000. And he'll claim that those were all bots. They were not. I unsubscribed from his channels. I am not a bot. I am not paid for the PR. I'm not roped into anything. I'm just following along, keeping track. And when shit don't make sense, I'll say so. I don't know that anybody can get sued successfully. Reputations are still at stake. And I have to wonder because I know that the Twitter high ups have direct access to everyone's DMs, private messaging on Twitter, if there is an ulterior reason why Brittany Venti's account is still locked. So I guess we'll see. Supposedly there are more Twitter files coming. So we will see. Could turn out that she's the uh, evil sorceress or something. But uh, yeah, the whole thing I've, I've had a, a weird hunch about because of the other guy that's involved that uh, would not surprise me if he was paid to be involved in that or something else that regardless if all of this shit happened on account of some bullshit stunt he tried to pull because he thought it'd be funny. Try and get his name on a billboard. A marquee. I feel bad for the people that he tricks. Because they're going to feel bad when they realize they've been tricked. So that's what I got for this one. I don't even know what to call it. I'll think about it.